G'day, Great Southern Ancient Miniature Man here, and I've got the um, unboxing of some first core ancient Iberians that I've been hanging out for for a while. The Iberian Command, and there's also some, should be some shields for the um, Scutari, the Celt Iberian Scutari that I'm in the process of making a unit of. I actually made the unit, I just need the shields to go with them. So oh, I've got a couple of packs of these. Um, First course shields that look like they would be perfect for this. They are the Iberian shields. So let's see what we got here. I haven't actually got any um, infantry from first core before. I've got some um, some horses which are great, but the scale's a bit smaller than ideal, uh, or you know what I like. So I'm just hoping these guys will be not quite so small. So they can work with my other Iberians, mostly Victrix, but some um, Warlord games as well. So these are the Iberian Commanders, four guys. Let's have a peek at each one. He looks cool. I like him. A bit of flashing there to tidy. Very active pose. With the big falcata, nice one. This guy with a horn, and again, he's pretty cool. Should be holding a shield up in front of him. Yeah, he's like him. They are on the small side. This guy with a spear, or oh, it's almost like a pilum kind of thing. Again, cool figure, interesting face. And then another one. Oh, he'll be the standard bearer with that excellent um, bull's head. Standard. Yeah, I like it. The only issue is going to be the size. So let's have a look compared to some of the other guys I've got. This is a Victrix guy. Yeah, he's a little brother, definitely. A little brother of him. If you build him up on a slightly higher stand, you could probably get away with it. And he's probably better off in his own unit, I'd say, without outsiders to make him feel insignificant. <laughs> he's another guy compared to, so yeah, like about 10% smaller on the Victrix with this excellent foul category. They're not, yeah, they're not insanely too small. So if you build them up higher, with the base, uh, probably work okay, I reckon. So there, yeah. fairly happy with them. I think I'll keep them, build them up. Then I'll better have a look at the shields for my um, my uh, Celt Iberian Scutari. So I've got two packs of these Iberian shields. Actually, you can get packs that have um, have spears at the back, or those without. So I just got the ones without. These nice oval. Pointy over ones, standard over ones, and then a squared off ends. I think it's just the three types. And they've got little holes in the back, I like that, so easy to attach to the hand. So they'll be really good, they should be perfect for my Iberian, Celt Iberian Scutari, and that's right, I forgot about these ones. These are for Persians, those uh, wicker, kind of uh, Boeotian style. Shields as well. Got a pack of them, so they'll be nice at a later date. Not doing any Persians at the moment, but I just saw them on their website and thought they'd be too good to go past. So there we are, short one today. Unboxing of the uh, Command Iberians by First Core. I'll paint some up and uh, show them again later. See ya. Here they are, fully painted. Let's have a look at each one. 
I decided to make them as Sayatrati. So you presume how you say it, with a small buckler style shield. So they um, come from the Victrix set. This fella, very nice. I just thought he was a little bit plain, needed a little bit of visual interest, so I added that crest onto the top of his helmet. Again from the Victrix plastic set. Spearman. I really like these ones. They're better than I really anticipated, I've got to say. I actually bought the whole set for the shields, which I was going to use for my Scutari Brigade, but I found the shields actually a bit too small. They're really good. I'm going to use them for other things, but they're a bit smaller than what I wanted, so I'm using different ones anyway. And I kind of got these as an afterthought, just as the cost of postage is substantial. I thought I might as well try out some of these, and I'm actually pleasantly surprised with these little guys. So I'll give them a spin, and I'll put up some other comparators for size. It's awesome. Just custom made the sh well, painted the shields freehand. Pretty simple, most of them. Spin them around so you can see the back half as well. Nice detail, like this falcata with an extra small knife strapped to it. Lots of um, nice belts and straps. If they're a little bit bigger, I reckon I'd buy a whole lot of these. And they're actually they're pretty good value for money. Actually, significantly better value for money than a lot of other metal figures around and the postage is quite reasonable so they've got a lot going for them so if you're looking for some cool Iberians and you don't mind a slightly smaller scale then I would highly recommend these first core Iberians just put up interspersed with some other slightly bigger ones so you can see the comparison so that Victrix guy is pretty huge compared to them but some of the other Victrixes are not so much oversized it's a Warlord Games Iberian with this one. So you see they're really pretty similar those two. If you remember I kind of jacked them up a little bit on a slightly higher basis to uh, disguise their shortness. Yeah, looks alright. It's just the odd one like this Victrix guy who's also jacked up a bit who ends up towering over them. Most of the figures work okay. Probably could use them all with others in a single unit, I reckon. Depends how you feel about slight variation in height. Anyway, there you have it. I might get some more of these guys. I say if they were just a tiny bit taller and broader, I would definitely go for a whole lot of them. Because they do Scutari and they do Seatrati and they do Cavalry. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. I've got some more Iberians coming hopefully. I'm still waiting on those V&Vs. I think they got lost somewhere between Ukraine and here. But I'm still hopeful they'll arrive one day. Um, and I've finally got hold of the Warlord, uh, War Games Atlantic horses. So I'm going to review them quite soon. All the best. Hope you're well. See you around.